Pain is hundreds of miles away, but the aftermath is also felt here in Chicago. Many are left feeling vulnerable and unsure of how to deal with this grief and sadness. CBS 2's Roseanne Tay has reached out to some religious leaders for their thoughts. You know, we've had hurricanes and earthquakes and everything happening, and now the mass shooting. It's just a, a horrible time in America right now. Parishioners outside St. Peter's Church in the Loop were shaken, but their faith strong. You have to get up, do what you want, and uh, go about your life. For many today, that meant reaching out to religious leaders to comfort a wounded soul. That common wound that we experience is really an expression of our unity. Cardinal Supich says even with troubled hearts, we should take comfort in that unity. Those who have hatred in their hearts, they hate people feeling happy, they hate joy, they hate love. And perhaps the most fundamental response is to keep the faith, to keep singing, and to keep living and loving. But to ease feelings of vulnerability and fear... It, it, it is pretty uh, scary, you know, as a family. This social worker says you should acknowledge, yes, it could be you. To actually say, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to plan just in case this would happen. And it's no different than when we plan for a fire at our homes. We want to acknowledge that there are things that people do in the world that we can't explain. But there are some wonderful things that people do in the world that we can that comes from a place of love. Should you talk to your children? Well, Christiana says you should first ask if they've heard anything. And if they have, they're old enough to discuss it. Be sure to share that plan. And Rob and Erica, be sure to tell them that there are people working to try to keep them safe. Wow. It's a big one because, you know, I, you don't want to bring it up with them if they haven't heard about it because yeah. it just puts so much negative things into their minds. That's ex exactly right. Find out first what's going through their mind yeah. and what questions they have. It's just surreal that these are conversations that we have to have nowadays. So thank yes, you, Roseanne. Definitely new. Well, keep it here.